Meet the new Nastia Lucan. This is what she does for fun. Seven hours a day. Six days a week. Try to go quick up there. There you go, like a jump. I think it's more than a full-time job. <laughs> you know, I come home like at the end of the day exhausted and Honestly, I've missed that feeling. After winning five medals at the Beijing Olympics, Nastia was an instant celebrity. And I went through a period of time where I was so lost and confused, and I really, you know, I, I didn't know who I was anymore. Nastia was still involved in the sport, but watching always came with a nagging feeling. I thought to myself, if I was training, could I have made that world team? Could I have won, you know, a medal with them? So just a few short months ago, after three years out of competition, Nastia made a gutsy move. Yes, I'm officially going for London. But first she had to convince her coach, who also happens to be her father. Well, it was not easy, of course, for me. That is very hard. He was not really behind the plan at first. Valeri Lukin has always nurtured Nastia. Well, yeah, that's a better one. And laid down the law. Nastya walks in the gym, she's just a gymnast, Nastya. She's not an Olympic champion, Nastya. In this gym, everybody the same. This time is no different. Right into the hall, yes, yes, yes. You have to prove me that you really want it, then I will help you. Otherwise, I'm a very busy man. So after a year and a half away from the gym, Nastya returned on a mission. <laughs> London all of a sudden became a huge dream of mine, and I'm working towards achieving that dream. Her Olympic medals do not make Nastia a shoe-in for London. There has never been so much talent, so much competition for spots on Team USA. Some of it is right here in this gym. Rebecca Bross is one of the biggest guns in America's gymnastics arsenal. New Olympic rules have made the team smaller, five athletes instead of six and the skills are more difficult than ever. It's gotten a lot harder to make this team. Whether or not I make that team, I just want to know I don't have any regrets. It is likely her last chance. Nastia is 22, a young woman among girls. Rest is a critical part of the regimen. In between my two training sessions, I take a nap now. <laughs> her biggest hurdle may be the calendar. And it's kind of like a race against the clock, you know, it's, I know time's, you know, going by very quickly. Dad is on board. She's getting close. <laughs> yes, yes, she does that. She's very serious about it. He sees the new Nastia. I don't have to call her and ask her what she, what she ate, what she did. She's so much more responsible right now. I like that. But DNA never changes, and Nastia is hardwired to win. I was that way. You know, if I go somewhere, I want to win. I want a medal. It would be silly to say that, you know, my, my goal is, isn't to make the Olympic team and to win another gold medal because it definitely is. She carries the confidence of knowing her legacy is secure. Nobody can ever take that away from me. You know, I'll always be an Olympic all-around champion. But Beijing is behind her, a magic moment in the rearview mirror. It's a whole different road this time. No one knows Nastia like her father, and Valeri Lukin says she can do it. Absolutely. I certainly believe she can. Nastia's greatest edge has always been grace. With London on the way, it may now be wisdom. No matter what happens, I'm just enjoying this process, and I'm enjoying the journey, and I'm enjoying, you know, being at the gym every single day again.